let's take a look at this one and just quickly let's play this one through here. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? I do do that. All right. So, pair your email. Uh, you changed a rework to the turn based on you can see here the steps. So before that, it was pretty much a single turn in Y without those steps. I just looked at it before. Which, funny enough, I really don't mind because it was such a quick... Wait, what? And it was almost as if she lifted one leg, stayed on the heel of the other one, and just did a quick turn. It kind of fits the cartoony style. And when I'm looking at it here... I don't know. To be honest, it feels labored. It's almost like you want to split the difference. But, you know, you're showing it to other people and you know, you're going to get a lot of um, different opinions and subjective opinions. To me, it feels before that it had a snappy, a snappy start. Hold on, let me just bring it in so I can show it. All right, so snap back to my critique here. Let's bring this up a bit higher so I can look at it. So here's the turn. Funny enough, having not seen this for a while, I still prefer this turn, but there's something almost stiff in terms of, I gotta change my critique tool here, how this, she, she turns around so quickly, and I, something I should have mentioned uh, before, I apologize, but sometimes just don't see it. Oh, uh, it's not so good. Uh, it just felt like she turns around and there's just not enough drag in the wrist and the flowers. I mean, this is not rigged, I'm assuming, I'm not sure, but there's something in the arm, the wrist, and the flowers that could just be offset more. So let me kill this here and just go back. Let's watch this. And way, way back, I mean, you're writing it here. Um, so I ended up adding steps like you'd originally suggested, but in a way that felt natural to how I acted it out. Um, and to be honest, I can't remember the, the, my initial notes and I'm just getting old, but, um, looking at this, it does feel very clean in why, how she turns. So a little bit of a, maybe a little, a little move to the left to anticipate a couple frames and then turn with a little bit of an up and down in the root. So that's kind of like that, oh, that quick hop. Like that's kind of, I, I I like that aspect. And it's the thing is, it's also a, an interesting, quick surprise. So hold on, let's go back to my critique here. So imagine like that's the beginning of the shot. And I like this because it has the contrast of quick turn, pause, and then, ah. Uh, so it's a nice contrast of quick action, like, uh, I'd say a take or a surprise, but there's there's a cool thing of quick and then a concerned face and then oh relaxation into her performance. Whereas if we go back now, I don't think I do that. I don't now. It just feels labored. It just feels like it's there's too much emphasis on it. I think this is better. That's what I was l seeing last time. Last time, as just right now. So I think that's great, but there's something about a that lean in where now it becomes very animated, like it's very cartoony performance where characters do. What did you say? What? Where am I going? So it, I don't know. It just that is just not my style, not my thing. And then those couple steps. I don't know. Again, I mean, that's it's you have to go with what you think, you know, you prefer in your shot. It's not that it's not well animated. Obviously, you're a really good animator, so it's not like that's not the critique. I don't think I do that. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of a more fan. Like, the mechanics work. The only thing I would say this feels very fast right now in the root. So she turns around, that in real time, a bit too fast. I'm just looking at this section, that mechanically, 
It was like someone just kind of pushed her over. And it just feels like it just takes too long. Again, that's just that's just me. I don't think I do. It's almost like you want that beginning. I like that little anticipation. I like the rework of the hand, arm, but almost into this with a little drop, stop, and then from here go into this. Where like when you when you're in this and you stop, then you have the facial change into this and then that. But without those couple steps, which I know you just worked on. Um, and if that's I mean if that's what you reference and you feel like that's what you want to do in your shop, uh, that's totally fine. Um, it's just the danger of showing it to a lot of people, <laughs> but then you're going to get totally different opinions. But this is your shot. You got to do what feels right for you. I think, again, the only thing animation-wise doesn't quite work for me is this turn. Uh, this turn, this move in the roots, just a bit fast. And also, you can see the speed of it. If you then look at the flowers in the hand, it just moves over pretty quickly. If it was this fast, I would have a bit more drag in the hands. If there's any way you could uh, rig this, that would even drag the flowers over there. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? I don't think I do that. Do I? Do... Picky things again. This is after not having seen him for a while. I don't think I do that. When she has that blink, and she goes, "Huh," I would also start relaxing the thumb and the index finger. Not in that pose here, but. It's because she's like, hey, I don't do that. And that, hey, tick, 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 it works for me. But then there is a thought process change. Like, wait a minute, I didn't do that. And like, yeah, I would just relax that a tiny bit. And then when you go into this, you can close it. It's almost like you can relax it with a little bit of a moving hold. Like, wait, and then hold and then grip. So you can have that move movement of the fingers going, wait, did I do that? No. So you can have a little bit of that in there as well, technically. Super, super picky. I'm not sure about text. I don't think you need that. I would always kind of look at work without text. Um, not that you need it technically for the shots. So if someone can't read English, you know, they wouldn't understand the dialogue either. But um, from a visual point of view, it's also a bit of a tangent there. It's a bit picky, picky. Same thing here, that corner of that with the flowers there. I don't think I do that. And then it's right there on their head. It's just not quite a fan. I would, you could just take this out and just have hospital. But then again, I don't, you don't quite need it. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? I do do that. <laughs> it's still so super cute. Yeah, it's just, just that move. I would say, animation. He bumps me. Because now the thing is, I think that also strikes me is that before that you had this, hey, this quick intro and then, hey, and then that change where it was just, no, that's not true. And then straight into this. But now you have so much time lingering on concern, look, concern, look, more concern, look, and then change into that where it almost feels an abrupt emotional change where before that was what? No, I don't do that. But now it's like, hey, hey, hey. No, I don't do that. So it's kind of this weird long, long transition. I don't know. I'm not sure why I'm reacting to this. It just, it doesn't quite fit to me. I don't think I do that. If you just start, let's pretend we just start here. I don't think I do that. It feels already a bit better just because we don't linger so much on that emotion. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? And if you're reworking mechanics, I feel like on that, and she says that, you can have a little bit of a dip in the head. I, so she would go, do I do that? I'm exaggerating now, but we, do I do that? That, where the, where the body goes down and the head goes down, but very, very minimal, and to me, mostly in the head. Do I do that? And right now, it just feels like it's a head move where the lip sync just feels copy-pasted. Do I do that? Do I do that? Maybe a little bit of a head forward. It's like just a little bit of head accent on that is missing. Do I do that? I do do that. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? I do do that. I do do that. And then maybe 
you have a change in the body which is good in terms of it doesn't feel like it's just one axis back there's something a little bit in this where that's a strange part to scrub it feels like there's a slight pivot off of this section where the head just kind of pivots off that point you might want to have a little bit of a translate over to not have that sticky frame there but when she goes back here maybe a little bit of not saying she needs to do hold on I do do that I do do that like not, not like a twist or much in Y but that but much smaller so it's not just one axis back in the head so I do do that so I do maybe you could have a little bit of I do do that a little bit of a side and tilt just a bit I do do that I don't think I do that not too much because I think I like the wide eyed and oh, it's the shock but just a little bit so it doesn't feel quite one axis and actually super picky I wouldn't open up the hand here I would do the opposite where the, the thumb is out and then it goes in because technically technically but to me emotionally she would wait what she would tense up because she goes into that emotion like oh, wait what so <coughs> excuse me to me it would be I don't have anything like that but it's my glasses holder okay so it's more like I'm holding those flowers um in a more relaxed way and imagine she just heard something someone told her that and she goes away and it's it's a firmer grip for the turn because you don't want to loosen up before you turn quickly so I would actually technically do the opposite there I don't think I do that do I do that Again, you can noodle this forever. Every time you see, you look at it, you might see something else. And this, again, this is not wrong, but it could be an interesting exploration of that mouse shape. Do that, holding it longer in the wider shape. And then go into, when you do this, on that move, close it up into this. Only because... Do I do that? Now I feel like, do I do that? Where she brings the mouth closer almost too soon where you could almost hold it where she goes do i do that huh. that idea so it's do i do that and you hold the wide and then when she gets more concerned with that little dart over there that's when you can close it or close it get into this pose here I do do I do. I do. and you can almost explore when she goes oh, even through here close the corners even a bit more so it's more like a not like that right but that's the idea of just a little bit of I do. and then you have, a, you have more contrast when you go big and you widen it on here i do do that i don't think i do that tricky thing you know you can loop this forever and you might always see something where before that it was totally fine or it felt better i don't know it's always a tricky thing but it's you know it's I do that. I'm looking at this hand here. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? You know, you could technically exaggerate where we see this, and then as she goes over, she's going to hold on to this more tightly. So you can push that by now, the fingers might be further out because you are, you're holding it like, I'm going to see my fingers, you know, something like that. And then she goes, so just by holding it more tightly, that that part this part of the fingers will go up meaning it will go from this flatter pose to a more a more pronounced because of the grip and this can be tiny tiny and i'm only saying this because i see you do tiny work here like you are into all those details so this could be something where you can do that here and then bring down the tip of the thumb so if you have if you have get a good thumb silhouette here you know if it's that's more relaxed and then oh, she tightens you have a little bit of that in there just to show the tension in the grip do I do that? I do do that. and then you can relax it again because she is completely relaxed at that point where it's almost like you could relax the index or the pinky a bit more so it doesn't feel like it's just this flat shape here visually you have a little bit of a more relaxed around the pose give that overall feel of softness there because you do have it here, which is good. I do do that. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? I do do that. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? Hold on. I don't think I do that. Do I do that? I 
do do that. So when she goes here, I'm just curious if the rig has it. I would assume so. It seems like a very detailed rig. She goes, when she is like this in a frowny face and goes, and relaxes, I think you have it in there. I mean, I see the jaw going down, but I wonder if during this, you can scrunch up the nostrils, bring the nostrils up a bit. So it's an overall more for squash in the face. And then when she goes, <gasps> when she has that little moment here, you can bring down those nostrils just a bit. And definitely through here, as she opens the jaw, I can pull that, just that section here of the face down a bit for more squishiness and polish. I do do that. Do do that. Do do. I do do that. And you could probably try to sneak it in there too. And she goes, I do. I do do that. I do do kind of a bit more of a scrunched up, even bring up the nostrils here because of the shape. So instead of down like this, it's almost like a Rick and Morty face there. I do do that. It's almost higher in the U shape so that when she goes that, you can bring that lower. I do do that, you know? I do do that. I, I do do that. I do do that. Yes, I don't. Again, don't want to start unraveling too much. But that could be an interesting. It's a funny shape. I do do that. I just wonder if something it's I do do that. So that on that you can elongate the face again. I'm gonna stop here. See things forever. So yeah, the biggest thing, I personally would reduce those steps here. I like that anticipation move over there. I'll probably reduce the lean, so it's not so much of a lead with the head. I love this new change, that's great. Um, it's just this section I would reduce so that you go from this straight into technically that, so you just have this change. Again, I explained that all that before. Totally up to you. Um, let me know. Um, show it to other people with those notes in mind and see what they, what they say. Get a bit of a, a mix of notes there. So ultimately, this is still a really great shot, really well animated. So, um, you know, whatever you feel best um, to move forward with. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.